Hi again guys. I know I'm wearing the same stuff and I have the same makeup on and everything. I just wanted to film as many videos today as possible because obviously I live with my boyfriend and I'm not super comfortable uh, filming in front of him yet. Hopefully I will get there <laughs> eventually, but you know. So this is going to be a haul from MAC and Sephora from my trip to the States. And I think I'll just start quickly with my MAC stuff that I got because uh, they're all in this palette. I did pick up the palette. It was like 8 bucks, And they had recently dropped the prices of the pen um, products to 6 down from 10 if you didn't know. And so obviously I wanted to pick some stuff up. And then I picked up this blush. This blush is in the shade Style. It is really pretty. And um, the one I, I originally wanted, they didn't have it. And this was the one that was most similar, so I got that one instead. And for the eyeshadows, um, I might remember most of the names. We will see how it goes. Okay, so this is Nylon, Goldmine, Honeylust, Paradisco, uh, Rule, Antiqued. Um, satin taupe, um, silver ring, and club. And um, as you can see, I got nine eyeshadows and one blush in the palette. And they also had a thing that if you bought stuff for more than fifty bucks, you got ten dollars off, which was awesome. I have tried some of the eyeshadows already, and I also do have four more, which is why there's like holes in here. But um, I figured it would be easier if I just put the new stuff in here at the moment. Uh, so I did use All MAC today just for the ease of this video so I could tell you guys what I used. I used Gesso Blank Type, which I had from before, as well as Espresso, which I also had. And then I also used Goldmine, Honeylust, and Rule for my eyes. And they are very similar, like neutral and easy. There's just like a little bit of orange in the crease and stuff like that. So overall, I haven't tried all of these yet, but um, the ones that I have tried, I've been really happy with. The little exception is Honeylust. And I'm not sure what kind of finish this is, but I do think it might be a frost. Um, I don't know, it just it's not super pigmented, it's kind of powdery. And um, I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to learn how to use it. But overall, it is a very pretty shade, but I might get something similar. Uh, from another brand eventually because it's not super easy to work with. As for the other stuff, I got another like set thing from Sephora. This is the Too Faced Totally Obsessed set. Um, it comes with the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer, the Shadow Insurance, uh, the Too Faced Melted Lip uh, Liquid Lipstick in Chihuahua, the Better Than Sex Mascara, and the Chocolate um, Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer Mini. And when I first opened this, this is what about me too. There is like the product starts like here, which kind of annoys me because there is so much packaging for like nothing. But anyway, um, I did give the chocolate soleil that came with the package to my friend because she has didn't have it and I had another one. Um, I have depotted it, but this is what the little thing looks like. Um, this is a little bit too dark, so hopefully it will be better in the summer. I usually use the Milk Chocolate Soleil. Um, and then the color looks like this. And then it comes with the mascara that I haven't tried yet. Um, I have heard a lot of good things. Hopefully they will um, be as good as it sounds like. I do think I will like the brush. Um, it is very big and bulky and does look really black, which is nice. Um, and this is 4.8 grams. So, I don't really know how much comes in a regular tube, but whatever. Um, I'm excited to try this. I've heard a lot of good things. And then the shadow insurance and the face primer I haven't really tried yet. I mean, most uh, eyeshadow primers work good for me and this, these are both super tiny. I do think it's kind of funny though, because these are the same size and obviously you use a lot more for your face primer than you do for your eyeshadow primer, but especially this, I'm really excited for my no, Wet n Wild Furry one is almost finished. And then this is the Too Faced Melted in Chihuahua. I have used this, so this is uh, nice, I like it. It was a little bit more brown than I thought it might be. Here's a little swatch. 
Um, it is more pink in sunlight and more brown inside in yellow lighting. And uh, this also is a nice size because I feel like the regular ones, you can never finish them up. They are so big. But that is the set. I'm very excited to try it. And I also picked up the um, Tartlet Tees palette from Tarte. This is just a small one. I was considering wearing to get this or if I wanted to get the Tartlet in Bloom or the Tartlet Matte palette. I ended up with this because I haven't really had an experience with Tarte eyeshadows and I figured it would be nice to start with a small one. I can always order the other one online if I want it because Tarte do ship internationally if you didn't know that. So it looks like this and all the shadows are really pretty. This is Whisper Crush Heartbreaker is a BFF First Kiss and um, the last one right here is called Wink. And in the palette, there are four matte shades and one lightly shimmery one and one glittery one, which I feel like is a really good combo. And can we just talk about how pretty this is? It's so cute and handy, and I love the gold metal right here. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. I have not tried it yet, but I am very excited to do so. Hopefully, it'll be as good as I imagine it in my head. And then I have one more item from uh, from YSL. This is the um, Rouge Volop Shine lipstick in number 15, which is Coral. I do believe this is a limited edition for this year, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it's just a nice corally shade, a little bit shimmery. It's right there. Um, I did pick this up at the airport, though. I did not buy it at Sephora, but it fit best in this haul, so that is why. I know you can get this at Sephora, though. It's like $37. Um, I got mine on duty free, so it's a lot cheaper. It was like 279 Norwegian or something like that. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Really beautiful color, no doubt, and the packaging, gorgeous. And then I picked up a few things from like the Sephora brand. I picked up the Sephora Bright Set Powder. This is in the shade Banana, which is yellow, as you can tell. Haven't really tried this much either, but... I mean, it'll probably be fine. It's just a setting powder. And for my red cheeks and slightly blue under eyes, I'm sure this will be fine. And I picked up a um, Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow. If I can get the plastic off. This is in the shade Mango Shake. And it's like this. It's just a really bright orange and it is gorgeous. There you can see it. It is super pretty. There's not a lot of shimmer in it, but it does have a sheen. And um, I think this will be super nice with Rule for the summer. Super excited to try that out. I had not tried that yet properly either. And the last th from Sephora, I picked up two of the Baby Z palettes. And I was actually planning on getting the big one, but these are a lot cheaper. And they're not that much smaller. I don't have my big C palette here to compare, but I can compare it to the MAC one. It's not that big of a difference. And these are like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. And um, it has like the magnets inside. And this is like a depotting tool, I guess. And um, I don't know. I really like the C palettes. And now I have four of them. I have one small, two, one large, and these two baby ones. And I mentioned in my last video that I got the um, birthday set from Sephora for this year, which is the Marc Jacobs little thing. It comes with the eyeliner and it comes with the mini lipstick in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which um, looks like this. It is pretty. And it's the shade right there next to Chihuahua from Too Faced. And... Um, I don't know, it's just super cute. I am trying to finish up my other one, so hopefully it'll be going fast. And then it comes with this little pencil, and it is a twist up, which is really nice and convenient. I have tried this um, a little bit on my upper lash line. This is called the Highliner Gel Crayon, and it's just a black shade. Um, it didn't smudge a lot on me, so I'm excited to see how this does in waterline, because I haven't tried it there yet. And I picked up a another travel size thing.
Uh, another travel size item. This is the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer from Urban Decay. This is like the really tiny one. Um, it's just two milliliters, which it's kind of deceiving if you look at like next to the package, but whatever. Uh, and this is in the shade Light Neutral. I did ask the girl at Sephora if she thought this would be the right shade for me, and see, she said yes. I do believe that this might be a little bit dark. Uh, hopefully in the summer it'll be better. And um, it's right there. You can see it a little bit. Um, I think it'll be fine for maybe like my face. And it's just really cute. I wanted to try it and um, not get the full size. I think it was like 12 bucks for the small one. And then I got two um, Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. I got one of the sheer ones and one of the regular ones. These were on sale for 11 bucks. Um, I got one at Sephora and one at Ulta. And I was hoping actually to get this one in the regular shade. This is Rapture. Uh, well, this is sheer Rapture. I wanted regular Rapture, but they were sold out at both stores. And um, it is a really pretty color. It's right there. And the packaging too is gorgeous. I'm guessing that they're either changing the packaging or changing the um, formula of these lipsticks since they're on sale everywhere which is usually a sign that they're gonna change something and the other one that I got is in the shade Naked and again it has the cute packaging this is more of a gunmetal color and not purple this is the regular shade uh, real regular line um, and it's right there the girl at Sephora she recommended this to me instead of Rapture when they were sold out of that. They didn't have a tester for it But she said that she could open the package and show it to me and I told her that I would get it Instead the shade difference is not huge. I mean Rapture is a little bit darker and a little bit more mauve purple-ish while the other one is more pink, but I think I'll uh, come to like both of them a lot Next up is the shade that I am currently wearing. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drench Lip Splash Lipstick, which is a mouthful. And this is in the shade Cabana Boy, which is so pretty, and also the packaging. As I drop it. I am a sucker for patch packaging, and this is just so pretty. Here's the color, and you can't see it on my lips, but I will swatch it next to the other ones anyway. It's right there. When I picked up the um, set with Chihuahua, I actually bought that first because I thought that these will be very similar. And they are a little bit, but uh, Cabana Kebe uh, Boy is a little bit more of a rosy color, while Chihuahua is a little bit more brown, so I did end up buying this one in addition to the other one. After I tried the first one on my hand. And I also picked up a couple of things from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Sad Girl, which is so pretty. It's like a dark um, red with like red, pink, and like purple shimmer. Um, what does kind of fascinate me about this is that the shade dries matte, even though there's a ton of shimmer in it. And it just looks really cool. So it's right that. You can definitely see that it's the darkest one by far of the ones that I got. And, um,. Healer they all are. I did use this one yesterday, even though it is a little bit dark for May. I just had to try it out. It is very, very pretty. And um, the same pyro was pretty good. Uh, Anastasia Contour Kit. This is so rave about, and mine is slightly torn already because I've been traveling with it. Um, but mine looks like this because I made a, a custom contour kit on Anastasia.com. And I did realize that a lot of people don't know you can do this. So what you do is you go to AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com and you add six shades. You will get the palette for free and you will get a bundle deal so it makes it $40 which is what the original one is. So this is what mine looks like. Fairly close to color. So this uh, is Champagne and these are Sh and Fawn and Java, I don't remember which is which. Banana, Golden Peach and Peachy. All of which are very pretty, and um, the only one that I chose with some shimmer in it is Champagne. And um, I think that these will be really good. I was expecting uh, Golden Peach to be a little bit darker, or more colored, because it does look like a um, skin tone. 
but worst case scenario I can mix these two if I don't want it to be this um, this dark all the time and uh, I haven't really tried this much either but I tried it a couple times in the States and it seemed nice easy to blend all of that 40 bucks for a set like this in Norway is super cheap anyway because they are like, like $80 here um, and when you purchase for more than $25 you also get free shipping in, uh, in the United States and they do ship internationally as well I think shipping to Norway was like $18 because I did check how much it was to send it here. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing though is that this is really small and compact and nice and everything, but I was expecting the shades to be a lot bigger because in comparison, this is a Sephora eyeshadow and it's not that much bigger. It's like almost the same shade, like, I don't know. This is 2 grams, so I'm guessing the pen is really shallow. Uh, I was expecting the pants to be bigger, so ex um, beware if you get it. That um, At least I thought that they would be bigger. And last makeup item that I got from Sephora is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. <laughs> this is in the shade uh, Who's Assuming Who, which is blue. And this is what the packaging looks like. Um, I was hoping actually that this would be the same as this, in packaging wise. Um, I don't know, I just think that this is pretty and all, but I just think this is more convenient because this has a doe foot like on the tube like this, while the matte line actually have a doe foot applicator. I don't know, I just feel like the other ones are easier to use. Um, as for the color of this, I have seen a lot of shades of, uh, well, swatches of this online and on pretty much every one it looks like a clear, nice, pretty opaque blue. On me though, it is very dark in my opinion. I mean, it's clearly blue, but it is definitely on the darker side. Well, I was hoping it would be more of a royal blue, but I am still a god. I got it and I'm sure you will see me wearing this in a video eventually. Um, probably towards the fall considering how dark this is on my skin tone. And the two last things that I got from Sephora were a couple of perfumes. I got the small sizes, like the 0.3 ounces ones. So I picked up um, Daisy Dream from Marc Jacobs, which is gorgeous. I have been looking for this in the state in Norway too, but the smallest size that they have here is a full ounce. And like you saw my makeup collection, well my fragrance collection. I will link that down below if you want to see it. I have more than enough perfume. And um, this is just like a little rollerball thing. 10 milliliters for those of you who don't speak ounce. And um, it just really nice, subtle, slightly floral, everyday scent. And it's just delicious. It smells so good. And then I picked up uh, YSL's Black Opium Perfume. This is an Eau de Perfume. 10 milliliters again, and this has the um, spray top and not the rollerball. And I just think that the it's so cool that the perfume isn't clear. You don't see it on your skin though, it's like you can't see it. It just looks really fancy in the bottle, and uh, especially for such a simple bottle like this. And also, both of these are glass, um, really nice fragrance. I do like this a lot, and this is definitely more of a like nighttime, daytime fragrance, while this is uh, more of a night, um, daytime, summer fragrance. Um, my boyfriend did actually like this one better though. Those were all the things that I picked up from Sephora, and I think I picked up a couple of things from Ulta too, but they're pretty much just my high-end and MAC items. So I hope you enjoyed this video as well, and I'll be back with more hauls because I do have a drugstore haul and a clothing and accessory haul to film as well from my trip to the states. I spent a lot of money to put it that way and um, I'm usually pretty good with my money so I don't feel that bad about splurging when I was away but you know how it is when you're on vacation you don't think about money the same way that you, you do at, um, on your regular life and um, yeah so remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.